Hi guys, just a quick unboxing because it's, well, it's coming up to half six. I need to get to work, so I'll be as quick as possible. Uh, got it all from Let's Party Fireworks last night. That's my go-to store. Um, got some really nice stuff. I'll start off with the weakest piece. This uh, Yorge uh, rum and candle, 150 shots. I think it fires uh, red, blue and white comets or little pearls, should I say. Uh, I'm not sure of the NEC, I don't think it's got much in there, to tell you the truth. Uh, 50 grams, is it? Yeah, it's 50 grams. So I basically just got it for the packaging because I've got a six year old son and he loves Batman, so I thought I'll get him that just to make him happy. I'm not expecting too much from it, but he'll like it. Uh, moving on, I've got these two little Celtic blinkers. So these got 20 grams each in them, the little strobes, one's red, one's white. And uh, I'm going to start off my display with these and I'm going to get some, uh, like a smoke grenade, coloured smoke, and have like a, a fountain, fountain mine maybe, <coughs> go up behind it. Should look good, have a nice, nice effect. I haven't got the smoke uh, grenade because I don't sell them at Let's Party. And also I want to have a Kronos fountain as well. Uh, it, like in front of the uh, strobes, um, which you don't sell either, so I'm gonna have to get those two pieces. They'll be the only ones I'll probably fire in my dis display that I haven't got from him. So they're nice. I haven't had a, a strobe before, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, moving on, the smaller pieces. I've got this Yorge uh, color fountain. Uh, this got 220 grams in it. Uh, I think this will be really nice. It's a seven inch fountain, conic fountain. Uh, I always like conic fountains, uh, should reach good height. Uh, last year I had the crackling, um, not the crackling, the classic uh, color fountain that had a kilo of gunpowder in it and that uh, set off half of my display <laughs> of cross contamination. I put it a bit too close, but I don't know. Didn't expect it to set off practically everything. But anyway, uh, what else have I got in here? I've got these vivid candles. These uh, look really nice in the video. Uh, this one's the, well, out of the three, I went and picked my favorite from the videos, the 56 shot red strobe split blue star. This has got 115.5 grams of NEC. Uh, well, I plan to fuse all three of these candles together so they go off uh, one after each other. Should have a really nice effect. Uh, so the other two in here. This one is the 56 shot red strobe willow with also 115.5 grams. Really like the look of these uh, vivid pieces. Just like the pure black finish. And the other one in here is the, if I turn it around the right way, 56 shot white strobe willow. So this one, uh, I think it like glitters as it goes up. Also 115.5 G, then you see, uh, really professional looking pieces. These, I'm well looking forward to these. Um, moving on, I've got my jumping jelly beans fountains. Uh, these are like classics, man. Probably like out of all the blobby fountains, these ones, these are the best ones, I think. They've like, probably got a bit more duration and um, better colours, I think. Uh, some of them are a bit samey, like if you look at the Spectrum Standard. Still really good, though. I, I wouldn't complain having them. Um, sprays of luminous multicoloured blobs mimicking bouncing jelly beans. Uh, this one's got 150 grams of NEC. It's probably like maybe not the first of its kind. I think um, the what is it? The something dippy goldfish by uh, Golden Lion that had like coloured blobs in it, like yellow ones. Pretty similar. Uh, well, not too similar, but it did have blobs in it. So I've got two of these. There's the other one. They were the last ones you had in store. I'll probably just fire one and keep the other one for next year, maybe. Uh, what I've been trying to do is like also it's basically like an effects driven display that I'm doing so maybe not too many bangs in that 
just because I've, I've got a lot of kids coming, so they'll want some uh, some more colours and different varied effects. Although I have got a few bangs, trust me, man, don't get me wrong, I can love a bang as well. I've uh, got these Krakatoa mines, 75 mil tube mine, uh, massive ground eruption, purple and uh, twilight glitter. I had this one last year. This was amazing. So this might be the mine that I start off behind the uh, strobe and, and smoke effect that I'm going to start my display with. Probably start with the white blinker, I think. And then either do the red strobe after the, the, the white strobe in succession or I might just keep the red one for like mid display or something just like to switch things up a bit I've got another one of these so this one here is the multicolor mine so again what's the NEC on that they're both 145 grams uh, yeah these are really good well glad to got these I wish I got like another couple actually, but anyway, I'll only just fire the one I think. I'll probably do the multicolour one this, this year because I had the silver, purple and twilight glitter last year and then keep that for another. Um, moving on, I've got these massive rockets. These are the Sovereign Lightning Strike Bullhead rockets. Uh, these have got... 116 grams of NEC in each one. This one's the brocade with red stroke pistol. Should be like well nice this one. Uh, yeah, they got more uh, NEC than say like the Taipan demolition rockets, and uh, they're meant to be better. Well, according to Let's Party anyway. Uh, NEC sells both, so you yeah, yeah, ain't got like too much of a bias, I guess. Um, yeah, just a funny thing where it? it says minimum age limit. 16 years which usually it says 18 uh, I don't know what that's referring to probably just light and it's not like uh, for sale um, but I don't know how old you have to be to light a firework uh, let me know <laughs> and then the other one it's the, in a rocket tube <laughs> this one is the what is this like a silver strobe I think isn't it? Uh, yeah it's silver strobe and that also has 116 grams of NEC in it. Uh, sorry, I'm struggling to get focus on anything. This shit phone. Uh, but bear with me. Uh, what else have I got? Oh yeah, these. These two fucking bad boys. Look at these, man. These are, if I can focus in... Yes. These are the Raptor Glowworm Rockets. These are so well made, probably one of the best made rockets you'll ever find. And these have 189 grams of NEC in it. What do these do? These go up sky high and then when they burst, they kind of burst in a waterfall of like uh, glittering little glowworm like uh, stars that just keep glittering and glittering on their way down like little glowworms. I take off the, the fuse protector. Um, you see, these are the zinc rockets. So well made, I guess like they, they make those on a lathe or something. Um, yeah, these are absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not going to use these in my display though. We're having like a meet up, me and some of the boys, like over Christmas. So I'm keeping these for then. I might keep those sovereign rockets as well for then. I don't really like the idea of finding this one in the garden because it's, it's so heavy. Imagine getting it on the head with that. Uh, then moving on, I'm going to start with the cakes now. So in here, this this bad boy, vivid piece, thirty mil. Uh, this is a, like a stunner. I see this uh, at Dan, out of Dan's uh, test firing. This is absolutely great, uh, and it made me want to buy it. So that's what it did. It's got five hundred twenty-five grams. And this one, uh, it kind of like twists up when it when it fires, and it produces like a, a gold uh, like wave willow with with some red blink in it, and it's absolutely stunning. It's, it's like more like a charcoaly uh, orangey color rather than pure gold. 
So yeah, I, was, I really like this one, and uh, I got it. And it's like, yeah, it's nice. It's more NEC than I thought, like 525 grams, 25 shots. Um, I thought it was going to be like around uh, 350 or so, from what I saw. But um, yeah, this one should be should be all right. Liu Yang Starlight Fireworks. Vivid Pyrotechnics. I wonder if they're the ones that make all the parts. So let's have a look at this one. Where's this one from? Uh, CNL International Industrial. Yeah, so they get this stuff from different places. 